let's look at an example to understand the two sample t test a pharmaceutical company has developed a new medication to help lower cholesterol levels to test the effectiveness of the new medication volunteers are separated into two groups 15 patients were given the old medication and 17 patients were given the new medication the reduction in cholesterol levels after four weeks was measured for both samples and the results are shown below in the form of a table as you can see in this table you have the sample mean of both the medication old and new and you also have a standard deviation given for both these samples so we'd be, we would be using both these figures to do the calculation conduct a two sample t-test to determine whether the new medication is better than the old medication using a five percent level of significance in the examination this value would be given to you the significant level alpha is equal to 0 0.04 so uh, i do this question in three different parts to make it easy so the first part would be let's decide what is mu1 and mu2 so let mu1 be the population mean cholesterol level reduction of the old medication group and let mu2 be the population mean cholesterol level reduction of the new medication group next we have to state the hypothesis the hypothesis that should be considered are the null hypothesis ho is where the mu1 is equal to mu2 that means the mean sample 1 is equal to the mean sample 2 and this means new medication is no better than the old medication the alternative hypothesis which usually denoted by h1 it's also called as h sub 1 where mu1 is less than mu2 which means new medication is better than the old medication for part number two we'll have to use the calculator once we understand the scenario now we'll use the calculator to help us calculate the value of p once we know the value of p we will compare it to the significance level which is 0 0.05 if the p value is less than 0 0.05 we can confidently say that we reject h0 and we support the statement h1 based on the 5 percent level of significance i'm going to show you how this is going to be calculated using a calculator and then we will draw a conclusion based on that okay let's an analyze the data now to determine whether the new medication is better than the old medication using a 5 percent level of significance as given in the question so i'm using a scientific calculator which is casio i go to stat i go to test select t 2s for two sample t test and this is a screen where all the parameters all the data that is given to you has to be entered the first option is a variable since we have only four numbers it is a variable it's not a big list if a list was given to us then we would obviously select this list option so i am selecting variable second option is to compare between the mean of the first sample and the mean of the second sample in a question when we analyzed it we were looking at mean one less than mean two so i am using a lesser than operator here in some questions you could use greater than or not equal to the other values are just simply entered so the first one is the sample mean of the first sample so that is 0 0.351 the standard deviation of the first sample is 0 0.058 the number of patients who were given the old medication is 15 so i type in 15 there for n1 and now we are looking at second sample the sample mean is 0 0.497, 0 0.497, and the standard deviation of that sample is 0 0.077. Number of patients who were given the new medication is 17. 
keep the pooled option on and all you've got to do is hit the enter button or execute so this is your answer to the question the t value is given there minus 5.99 and the p value which is going to be important for us to make a decision is 7.14 into 10 to the power of minus 07 so it's a very small value now let's come back to the question here once the p value is calculated if the p value is less than 0 0.05 which is our significance level in our case it is we have enough evidence to reject h o that your null hypothesis because it is less than we reject it and we support the h1 statement on the 5% level of significance so in conclusion we can say that the new medication is better than the old medication because we are accepting h1 and we are rejecting h0 we'll have a look at another example just to give you more confidence on how to use this two sample t-test